Hello my soccer universe and welcome to another video from my collection. You guys have voted that my next jersey review will be an Eredivisie jersey review, which is for the first time that I'll be doing that and while I'm still in the preparation stages for that, I said let's kick it off with one Eredivisie shirt, one of my favorites uh, from my rather small Eredivisie collection, which is the Ajax 20. 2021 away shirt uh, a shirt that once it got released um, immediately got rave reviews like every Ajax away shirt or alternate shirt these days does however this one still sticks out for me because the moment I saw that pattern I said oh, this is a reinterpretation of the famous 1988 uh, Netherlands home jersey and while here, it, uh, while at, upon first look, it looked like this is a very unique uh, design. Scotland also had a similar away jersey, although with lighter colors, it didn't have, they had a white instead of the darkish blue. Um, I got this one directly from the Ajax store in beautiful packaging, uh, but the story is even better. I remember, you know, this was a shirt that I had in mind, I knew it's very popular, so I never thought I would get this for a decent price. And then uh, I was just browsing and it was <laughs> it was a time when I was still regularly on Facebook, <laughs> um, where I actually just posted, yeah, we have a sale, 50% off plus free printing. This was in early 21, you know. It was during, we have to remember, it was during the pandemic. Everyone was staying home. There was not any income. I think people were not really buying stuff. So they had to throw out some uh, pro, pro promotions that didn't do it last year where I was waiting for the home jersey to become cheaper. In the end, I actually managed that too, but that's a different story. And it was also a time where, you know, I was hes hesitating because it was still around 60 but i said nah this is one and then i decided okay uh talk talk to my wife you know can this be my valentine's present please and my wife agreed and I said yeah this is special uh then of course i got it with the patch because it was for free uh <laughs> to be added uh and you know a golden eredivisie patch was is, is pretty cool and i have to say the eredivisie patches in general uh, as of late it's just toto it's not even a league patch but this one at least it's gold there's an eredivisie logo on it as we'll see so that was nice and then i said okay let's go all out i have a name set i have the eredivisie patch let's get the sleeve patch too but the sleeve patch actually made it a little bit more complicated unfortunately this was um i think it was early january uh, and I needed it mid -fe February, where they said, yeah, they, we don't have the Curacao sleeve patches. And this, they sent it, of course, to me in Dutch, but you know, with Google Translate and, and it's like a uh, do. And I said, okay, we have to wait. And I said, okay, I will wait. Um, then they come back like in late January, January. Unfortunately, we still uh, don't have the sleeve patches, but I, we can give you two options. Either you have it delivered to you now and we give you a little discount or you wait for it until we have it. I said, no, I'll wait for it. Funnily enough, two days later, it appeared on my door. And that is the story behind this beautiful, beautiful Ajax jersey. And I would say, let's look at it a little bit in detail. And of course, also the name set. First off, what I really like about it is that the it has the blue base, but they are not forgetting about the club's colors. We have the white color with the little red outline, which I think is really, really, really nice. And then you have uh, the crest also very nicely here applied in red and it makes it stick out just a little bit more. Um, potentially one could have done this from the sleeve cast, but I, I think just this little touch of red is just enough to make it stand out just a little bit more. The Zigo Spons is actually um, one of my, as of late, one of my favorites, to be honest, because it's rather small, it looks nice. I would maybe not have the box around it, but I guess that's the company logo. Uh, of course, we see this crazy pattern, and if you look at it up close, I mean, it stands out and I what I really like about it is that at a distance it has this kind of uh, scaly 3D effect which 
I think is really, 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 really cool. Uh, we, as I said, we have here this leaf patch uh, with friend and lottery um, on there, nicely golden. Technically, Ajax did not win the 1920 season. They were just because the season was abandoned and Ajax and Z were on top of the table. So they were actually not the champions, but they were the previous champions. And I guess that's why they still have the golden patch. But I always found it a little bit funny because I really would have wondered, let's say um, it was the other way around that Ajax had won the league, but then AZ were ahead of the table once it was abandoned. Who would have gotten the golden patch then? That would have been an interesting one. And then of course, a rather unintrusive um, sleeve sponsor in Curaçao right here which i also think looks rather nice and just adds a little bit more to it as for the name set i was going a little bit back and forth in the end i went for the captain tadic honestly i got some mileage out of, out of that because this was my stand in serbia shirt for as long as i didn't have one so that's what i got some mileage about it and i always liked tadic uh, a whole lot but i think he's a great player especially what he did for ajax so in that sense i i don't mind i also like it when there are accents uh on there so that, that was it but in a way i would have i'm also thinking i should have maybe chosen davy klassen just for the sake of it but you know i the name set is also rather nice and you know we had a touch of red here now we have the name set here in red with a white outline and yeah i think it looks quite quite nice i i, I think it's over a very interesting font especially the way that the c is also a little bit a uh, not very symmetric i think it looks all quite nice i have worn it i mean i'm trying to, to be careful but i've worn this shirt a couple of times but i think it's a really really an uh, absolute stunning shirt it is of the recently released Ajax alternate jerseys. This is my absolute favorite. I don't think that the others really live all that way up to it. They look nice, have nice colors, but uh, here the patterning, as I said, it reminds me of the, I think it's Ipswich template, it's called. Um, it reminds me very much of that. And I think with Ajax being the biggest team from the Netherlands, it's of course also uh, in a way fitting. Now, of course, this shirt was worn during that season, uh, a season that Ajax in the end ended up winning the title easily um, under Eric Ten Hag uh, still. So this was still the glory years for Ajax. Of course, they weren't, it was not the time where they made a Champions League semifinal that was already over, but they were uh, truly a force to be reckoned with in both um, uh, the Netherlands, especially in the other division, but also in Europe. Everyone knew that Ajax is a serious team that has to be 100% taken seriously. Now, this shirt was not worn in Champions League, it was mostly worn in the league. Uh, I think in the Champions League, they had a very nice black shirt as, as far as I, I, I remember uh, there. But uh, I think I remember three occasions where I actually saw the first one, and the, it was, was the first time I saw the shirt where it really clicked with me, and it was worn with um, darker blue shorts, which which I think also complemented nicely. Uh, it was in a one nil loss to Groningen. Uh, yeah, that was not good. But then um, a three nil win at Alkma, and of course in a very emotional one one at PSV which basically put PSV back. This was the way that Ajax could get back, but it was a rather, rather tense game. I do remember that, especially this guy Tadic having a little bit spat with Denzel Dumfries. That's, that's what I remember uh, this shirt for. But mainly I remember, I love it because it is very unique and it's different. It's wild in a way. And so that's great by me. In any case, what do you think about this jersey? And you know, I'm wearing that PSV jersey because it fits with those. Given that I have only the big teams from the Netherlands, so far there will always be some tension when I show an Ajax shirt. <laughs> Let's put that. Up. Okay. In any case, uh, what do you think about this jersey? Um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. I will surely talk to you soon with another jersey. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye!